Hello grade 9 learners! Welcome back to our math video lesson. So our topic for today is all about extracting roots. So we have here square root property. It states that if a is a real number and x squared is equal to a, then x equals to positive negative square root of a. So kung mababasin nyo itong squared na to, so in square lang yung both side and then yung nasa right side natin ay naging positive and negative square root of a. So let's have an example. Kung paano natin makukuha yung mga solution set. 1. Find the roots of x squared minus 25 equals to 0. First step, move the constant on the other side. So what is our constant? Negative 25. We just get the additive inverse of negative 25. Ililipat natin doon sa my right side. So ililipat natin dito sa my right side. So therefore, it will become x squared equals to 25. Then apply the square root property. So square both side. Then x equals what is the square root of 25? By the way, it is very important that you already know the perfect square numbers. Yung 1 squared equals to 1, 2 squared equals to 4, 3 squared equals to 9. So when we say square root, ang kanyang factors ay dalawang numbers na magkatula. Just like square root of 25 which is positive and negative 5. Then, what will be our solution set? So, our solution set is negative 5 and 5. Let's have another example. 2. Find the solution of 3x squared minus 27 equals to 0. Again, first step, move the constant on the other side, which is negative 27. So, imove natin siya on the other side. Or just get the additive inverse, which is positive 27. So, it will become 3x squared equals to 27. Then, kung mababasin nyo, yung ating x squared ay may kasamang constant na 3. So, we can apply here the MPE or the multiplication property of equality para makancel natin yung 3. So, we can multiply it by 1 thirds or simply divide it by 3. So, we need to divide both sides by 3. Cancel. So, you ha we have here x squared equals to 27 divided by 3. So, you have here 9. Then, apply the square root property. So, we need to square both sides. Para makancel natin, ang matitira na lang ay x equals positive negative 3. By the way, bakit natin ito nakancel? Because the square root of x squared is x. So, probably our solution set here is positive and negative 3. So, hindi ko na isusulat yung salitang solution set, but probably we have positive 3 and negative 3. So, let's have our third example. Find the solution of x squared minus 12 equals 0. 
Then, move the constant on the other side, which is yung negative 12. Pag nilipat, magiging positive 12. So, you have here, x squared equals to 12. Then, apply the square root property. So, we need to square both sides. Square root of x squared is x equals is 12 a perfect square number? So, it's not a perfect square number. So, kapag po, ang, ang nasa loob ng radical sign ay hindi perfect square number, anong gagawin? So, hahanap tayo ng factor which is a perfect square. And that is square root of 4 times 3. So, ang factors ng 12 ay 4 and 3, which is yung 4 ay perfect square number na pwede natin kuhanin yung square root. And then, we need to extract the roots. So, x equals, what is the square root of 4? You have here, 2, positive negative square root of 3. So, our solution set is, we have here, negative 2 square root of 3, and 2 square root of 3. Okay, so let's have our last example. For our example 4, x squared plus 1 equals to 0. Again, move the constant on the other side, which is positive 1. So, it will become x squared equals negative 1. Then, applying the square root property, so we need to square both sides. So, x equals So, to solve this, we are going to deal with imaginary numbers which will be discussed, I think, in the other topic. But for now, we let i equals to square root of negative 1. So, applying square root property by the definition of imaginary numbers, so since wala namang square root ng negative 1, so we can say which is 1. But walang negative, de ba? Square root of 1 ay positive negative 1. Since ang nasa loob ng radical sign ay negative, so we can write it as positive negative i. So which means yung i natin ay imaginary numbers. So for this one, na x squared plus 1, ang kanyang solution set ay positive i and negative i. So that concludes our lesson. So again, going back to sa ating diniscuss, square root property, if a is a real number and x squared equals to a, then x equals to positive and negative square root of a. So I hope that you learned something today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you on our next video lesson.